friends, I'm Joanna from Joanna Miranda Studio, and this is my video series, Art Bag, Time-Saving Tips and Tricks. If you've watched some of my earlier videos, you'll remember that I've talked a lot about uh, this, which is my Noodler's uh, Ahab Flex Fountain Pen. I'm a big fan of this pen. It's not expensive, about $23, and I really think it's a great pen. Now, I did a video on how to take apart clean this pen, put it back together, and how to fill it with ink. Uh, but in today's short and sweet video, I'm going to talk about what to do when your Noodler's Ahab pen has ink in it. As you can see, there's ink in here. Hopefully you can see that. But it's not flowing. And I will show you what I do when I encounter that issue. If I leave my Noodler's Ahab pen overnight and come back to it the next day, Sometimes I'll go to draw and nothing comes out. So the first step, first thing I try to do is turn the pen vertically so that the nib is pointing down and I try just tapping the pen. I'm not hitting it very hard, I'm just tapping it. As, I, as you can see, little dots of ink are coming out. Now that might be enough to start the pen uh, working again to get the ink flowing. If that doesn't work, the next thing that you can do, and again I do this on a piece of scratch paper, um, is to shake the pen, oh, and there you can see some ink has started to come out. Now that was enough to get my pen flowing. It's always good to have a piece of um, paper towel nearby so you can wipe off any excess ink, and again work over a scrap piece of paper. Don't work over your nice white silk blouse. And the third thing you can do, if neither of the tapping or the shaking techniques work, is that you can actually turn the pen upside down so that the tip is pointing to the ceiling, then turn it over, shake it again, and that should help get your pen flowing. Now again, this pen is not expensive. It's around $23. Um, it's a good pen uh, to experiment with. It's a, I love it because it gets a wonderful flexibility of line. So I can get very fine lines. I can, if I press down on the nib, I can get fatter lines. And when I work with this pen, I always use Diotrementis document inks. And my preference is for the document ink gray. I also have the document ink black. See, I told you this would be a short and sweet video. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope you'll consider giving it a thumbs up. I post these videos every Monday and Friday. And if you don't want to miss out on seeing them, why not subscribe to my channel and then make sure you toggle on the little bell because that way you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching.